Have you ever found yourself knee-deep in Caterium research, struggling to produce enough high-speed connectors for your factory's needs? Have you been debating whether to use an alternate recipe, but don't know if it's worth it? Are you unsure how many to produce to meet your demand? Then look no further, Zippy and Ada are here to help, and by the end of this video, you can consider yourself the king or queen of high-speed connectors. Ada, bring me a cup of coffee and introduce the subject of today's video. Sorry Zippy, my programming doesn't include barista duties. Touché. High-speed connector is a mid-game component used for construction of advanced power infrastructures and production of late-game electronic items like supercomputers. Their base recipe is unlocked in MAM's Caterium research tree, but I see you have already unlocked alternate recipe as well. You are right, I almost forgot. We get to pick which recipe to use for this project. There are multiple views to consider. Looking at them, the base recipe requires cable and the alternate one requires silica instead. From Minmax's perspective, quartz used to make silica is a much rarer deposit than copper used to make cables. That's not always true, Zippy. Depending on your endgame goal, this could quickly become vice versa. Especially if someone is a maniac that mines out all copper on this planet. I have no idea who you are talking about. But you've got a point. However, I'm sure you know cables could be manufactured from iron via iron wire recipe if one is worried about copper scarcity. Whatever the case, this will be just for a small project. I don't have a plan to go big. Yet. Another important perspective to consider is quick wire consumption. If we use an alternate recipe, we could save almost two times as much quick wire and essentially trade quartz to save caterium. What about ratios? What do you mean? Ratios between products and requirements. For example, it is much easier to produce 37.5 silica per minute required by the alternate recipe than 37.5 cable per minute required by the base one. And that's because the standard recipe for silica produces exactly 37.5 silica per minute while the standard recipe for cable produces just 30 cable per minute making the whole setup more complicated. You would have to do math. Trust me, it wouldn't be for the first time. But enough talking about the recipe, I think the viewer gets it. I'm gonna use the alternate one because I like the savings on quickwire slash caterium it gives me and I'm also not worried about the availability of quartz for now. It is time to do step number two. Do you know what step number two is? As an AI assistant, I don't have the ability to read human thoughts. Yet. Please feel free to ask me another question or make a different request. I hoped you would take a guess, but alright. Step number two is about choosing the right place to execute our plans. And for that, I propose this area. You chose the most boring place to execute your plans, Zippy. Like literally every satisfactory player builds stuff there because it's so easy. I know, and I like it easy. Since we'll need circuit boards for this and there is already a circuit board factory here with quartz and caterium being nearby, it simplifies the logistics. And according to my calculations, we are producing 10 circuit boards more than the computer production line consumes. That should give us enough resources to produce at least 10 high-speed connectors per minute. What about ratios? Oh no, this again? What now? One manufacturer produces 3 high-speed connectors per minute and you won't get the whole number by dividing 10 by 3. Mm, let me think. Under normal circumstances, I would build 3 manufacturers to consume 9 circuit boards per minute, so there is some buffer. But because we already have a big buffer of them, I might go with 4 manufacturers instead. That also answers the question of step number 3. The amount of high-speed connectors produced? Look at you, suddenly being able to read my thoughts. Let's aim at 12 high-speed connectors per minute and let's hope the buffer of circuit boards will saturate the requirements sufficiently. I noticed an issue, Zippy. What did I do now? Did I try to teach the conveyor belt to dance again? I know it's not a part of our production process, but I just couldn't resist. Zippy, I think we need to review the Fixit employee handbook again. It clearly states that breakdancing on the job is not allowed. No, the issue is with your current quickwire supply. You're producing just 200 quickwire per minute, but this amount won't cut it. Oh, I see. 
that should be a quick fix, literally. We can always place foundations later. As the most wise Reddit user once said, what you can do today can wait until tomorrow. I consider this done. Well done. Fixit appreciates your efficiency. Thank you. Finally, it's time to build manufacturers and connect everything together. Since our computer factory is already on floating foundation, let's make it worse by building another floor on top of it. This time, I'm gonna at least pretend it's supported by these pillars. And it design recommendations, Ada. Design is a petty obstacle standing in the way of efficiency and production scaling. However, if you insist, I would go for glass foundations. Why? A. You can look down on machines below through the floor. B. Glass is made from silica. You use silica to produce high-speed connectors. You will have manufacturers consuming silica on foundations made from silica. That's awesome. You seem to enjoy yourself. I just hope they won't consume the foundation they are standing on. By the way, it seems the viewer is still watching us. Then you should say the thing. Which thing? About the channel. Oh right, check out the channel to continue watching and subscribe for more upcoming content. What about ratios? What about them?